Hi, this is Sieg Schmalz, Applications Engineer at Microchip Technology. Data centers are huge, and I do not just mean the size of the physical site. Each year, end users spend approximately 200 billion US dollars on data center infrastructure. This massive infrastructure requires high-speed data transmission both internally between various elements of the data center as well as externally to the networks. As cloud computing has increased and applications related to the Internet of Things or IoT have grown, so have the demands on data center transfer bandwidth between servers and peripherals such as storage devices and input-output devices. Owing to its high data rates and ability to customize throughput to meet varying bandwidth requirements, PCIe has become the most widely implemented data bus in data centers around the world. Higher data rates have resulted in increasingly tighter jitter requirements, as evidenced in the evolution of PCIe jitter specifications, which I described previously in PCIe Quick Learn video number two. Microchip provides a total system solution for PCIe data communications between a server and its peripherals. Our vast array of PCIe compliant oscillators, clocks, and buffers have been qualified and validated in data centers worldwide, as well as having been selected as the vendor preferred clock source on numerous vendor designs. Microchip PCIe clocks have set the standard for leading edge designs using PCIe switches, PCIe retimers, memory peripherals, and processors and controllers. See, for example, Microchip Applications Note AN3604 at this link. Data centers require low jitter clocks, not only for internal communication between servers and peripherals, but also for external communication via, for example, physical layer communication devices, commonly known as FIs. One such implementation is shown in this example. Here, we see the ability of the 3026X family of devices to provide multiple output frequencies. Note also that if needed, the ZL3026X is capable of simultaneously generating some or all of its output clocks with spread spectrum enabled and others with no spread spectrum modulation. Here we see another example of microchip crystals, clock generators, and buffers providing a complete solution for a PCIe switch. The symbols with the letters EP on them represent endpoints that can be network processing units, graphical processing units, FPGAs, solid state drives, and so forth. In this example, we see a ZL30263 microchip clock generator providing the PCIe clocks for solid state drives and a PCIe to PCIe bridge. Just to give you an idea of the huge selection of microchips PCIe compliant oscillators, buffers, and clock generators that can be tailored to specific data center implementation requirements, I am going to pretend you can speed read and scroll through this table pretty quickly. Of course, this information is also available from our website. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like more information, feel free to visit our website at this link.